if you remember the first time that you talked to, whether it was Coach Behan, Coach Hop, whoever it was here, uh, what they said to you and what kind of your first impression was in talking to them? Uh, first one I talked to was uh, Coach Murphy, actually. I mean, he's one of those me a lot, and I mean, when I came up here, he told me all the good things about it. I mean, I was friends with school, Dion, Trev, and I mean, I just figured it was a great place for me to come to. It was close to Philly. I mean, there's a great, there's a lot of history here, and Coach Behan's a great coach. And with that, Rakeem Christmas begins stamping his name into a Syracuse basketball history. A man who would ultimately become one of the most fan-supported players we've seen. But did you know, he almost became someone Syracuse fans would have loved to loathe. Did you almost go to Georgetown? Was that what the final two was? Oh, yeah. I, I literally was about to commit to Georgetown a week before. So, I mean, Trev convinced me to take the trip here with him, and I fell in love with it. He enjoyed moments that will forever live in college basketball lore. He helped the Orange atop those Hoyas the last time they ever played in the last real Big East tournament. A month later, he was hugging Otto the Orange on the road to the Final Four. Still, he saved his best for last, increasing his scoring by 300% this season. But his greatest achievement wasn't a dunk or even a victory, but rather his work in the classroom. In just three years on campus, Rakeem earned his bachelor's degree last May. And two months from now, after just four years in school, he'll have his master's. Have you ever thought about it from, you know, from us telling that story about you? There's probably at least a few kids out there that hear that and kind of get inspired by that. How does that feel to know that part of it? Oh, it feels great. I mean, to just you got to just put in a lot of hard work and determination. It'll pay off. I mean, it's not that hard. You just got to go to class, do your work, and you'll be fine. I mean, just balance it with schoolwork and just on, on the course stuff. You'll be fine. You're the guy who does everything right. You know, you've, you're, you're going to class. You're, you've got the degree and everything like that. And was there ever a thought in your mind that said maybe this isn't fair? I mean, all stuff happened for a reason. I mean, it's out of our control. So, I mean, I've been to the Final Four. I've been to the tournament three times since I've been here. I mean, only people not going this year will be Caleb and Chris. And, I mean, I'm sure they'll end up going at some point. So, I mean, like I said, it's stuff happening for some reason, and you just, it's out of your control, so I'm just, you got to look forward to the, um, the future. I mean, that's what I'm looking forward to now. Yes, the reason that Rock's run ends tomorrow, the self-imposed ban on postseason play for Syracuse. It was tough, but in true leadership form, Christmas just rallied the troops. When we heard that, I mean, everyone was in shock. I was in shock a little bit, but I mean, like I said, stuff happened. So I just told everyone that I was going to quit on them, and they said they wasn't going to quit on me. And I mean, since then, everyone's been playing their heart out. And, I mean, giving it their all, and it's all you can ask for. Have you thought about that, though? It's the last one in this jersey? Uh, I mean, I have. I mean, right now, I'm just focused on the game. And I mean, you know, when the game's over, that's when you can start recapping stuff. And I mean, like, really, this, the season's really over now. But I mean, as of right now, I'm just focused on the game. When you're in between those sidelines, all that matters is taking it to those guys in red, right? Oh, yeah, always. <laughs> and that all business attitude on the floor and never give up mentality is why Rakeem at Christmas will never be forgotten by all of us in Central New York.